Om Namah Shiva students. So today we will learn a new unit, unit 18, solid boxes and volume, part 1 of your junior math book 5. So volume, what is volume? Volume refers to the amount of space the object takes up. It measures the size of an object. All matter, solid, liquid or gas occupies space or has volume. So that means an object that takes up the space refers as volume. So how can you get the volume? For that you have to measure the size of an object. The size of an object means its length, its height, its breadth. Okay. And all matters, you have learned this one, that is solid, liquid and gas that occupies space or they are having volume. Okay. So in mass, volume is the amount of space in a certain 3D object. Clear? Now, how you will find volume of a solid? Solid means here, cuboid and cube. So, to find the volume for cuboid, you have to multiply length multiplied by break multiplied by height. Okay? For cube, age multiplied by age multiplied by age. So, cuboid means the shape of a cuboid is rectangle. That means it's Two sides means opposite sides are same. Okay. And what are the examples of cuboid? You think the shape of cuboid of your doors, window, isn't it? And cube. That is all sides same. That means length is equal to breadth is equal to height. Okay. So. Volume is measured in cubic units called unit cubes. How we will measure? When you will multiply this length, breadth and height and you will get the volume and after that you will write that volume as unit cubes. What does it mean? The volume of a unit cube 1 millimeter. 1 millimeter you will write when you will write volume you will write as 1 cubic millimeter or 1 cu mm means 1 q mm 1 centimeter means 1 cubic centimeter or 1 q cm 1 meter means 1 cubic meter or 1 q m clear now you will see your book page number 155. Here you see this is a cuboid. Okay. The cubes in each of these figures make a cuboid. So the cubes you are seeing here, these cubes when joined together, this make a cuboid. Each cube has edges of 1 centimeter. So the volume of each cube is 1 Q centimeter. Count the number of cubes and write the volume of each cuboid. Also write the length, breadth and height of each. So, what is this? These all are the cubes. Height, this one, this part is height and this is length and this part is breadth. Okay? One centimeter is the length and breadth of these cubes. Okay. Now when this join together. The volume is. How many cubes are here? 1, 2, 3, 4. And here also 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4, 4 is 16 cubes. Or 16 cube cm. Clear. Now what is the length? Length is 4 cm. Why? Because 1, 1, 1, 1. If you add this. 4, 1, you are getting 4 centimeter. 
here also i mean height you are getting 4 cm here length is 4 cm 1 2 3 4 that means 1 1 cm is equal to 4 cm breadth is 1 cm so length 4 cm breadth 1 cm height 4 cm what you are getting if you multiply 4 into 4 into 1 is equal to 62 cm in that way you see this one this is also a picture of cuboid three cubes joined together one centimeter length okay so what is the volume one two three three cubes are here three centimeter that means three cubic centimeter okay three cube centimeter length is what length is one two three that means three centimeter you will write here three centimeter what is the breadth breadth is one centimeter you will write one centimeter height one centimeter so three into one into one what is the volume that is three centimeter okay i think you have understood so this is the volume of a cuboid now the volume of a cube you know that a cube is having all sides same length isn't it so what is the volume here you are saying that three cubes here also three and one two three one two three so three into three into three what you are getting 27 this is a nine nine three is a 27 so here height into length into breadth is equal to 27 q centimeter understood now come to the exercise part exercise 18a here you see find the volume of each cuboid by counting the unit cubes of volume 1 q centimeter understood volume will be 1 q centimeter so what will be the volume here 1 centimeter is height and 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 centimeter is length and 1 centimeter is breadth so 6 into 1 into 1 is equal to 6 q centimeter okay in that way you will do the other centimeter also i mean cubic centimeter or for these cuboids you will take out here now question number two find the volume of each here you are getting few pictures this is a picture of matchbox here you are getting what i mean breadth is four centimeter length is five centimeter and height is 1.5 centimeter so you know what you have to do you have to multiply this way here i have shown you the sum question number 2a Length is equal to 5 cm, breadth 4 cm, height 1.5 cm. So, volume is equal to length into breadth into height. That means volume is equal to 5 cm multiplied by 4 cm multiplied by 1.5 cm. Here, 5 for the 20, 20 into 1.5. You have remembered the decimal fractions multiplications. So, 20 into 15, you are getting 300. And you have to put the decimal point. So here, before one digit, the point is before 5. So here also, before this 0, you have to put the point. So you are getting 30. So what volume? You will write here 30 Q centimeter. Okay. Now, see the next sum. In question number 3. Here, measure to the nearest whole number and find. Just you think, what is the measurement of your pencil box? What is the length, breadth, height? Then you will take out the volume. Any do. You will take the measurement and you will do this sum. Clear? Here you see, in question number 4, match the volume of each cube with the age 
So volume here V and age here E. Now this is you are getting Q. The measurement of Q. The volume is 729 Q centimeter. What you will do? You will multiply this numbers i mean this uh, centimeter what you are getting in age that number you will multiply for three times the numbers what you are getting and that number what is matching with this column v you will just do join okay and person number five fill the fill in the volume for each cuboid length breadth and height the volume is equal to you have to take out length is here 6 meter, 4 meter, 3.5 meter. So you have to multiply this one and you will get the answer. That answer you will write here. Okay. Now what you will do in your CW? In your CW, do question number 1, 3, 4 in your book. Okay. And question number 2 and 5 do in CW copy. Here in question number 2, you will write only the measurement. Okay, that means length, breadth and height. According to the question number, you will do in your copy. Write the unit's name and unit's number and do your classwork. And in question number 5, that is the table making, you will do in your copy. Okay, so I think you have understood. I am ending my class here. Om Namah Shivaya.